Hi guys, welcome to another episode of Game Testing Unlimited. My name is Wilfred. In my last video, I've uh, created a uh, first look experience on Hellgate London release in uh, Steam just two days ago. Uh, do check out that video if you'd like to have some honest um, feedback or view on the game uh, at launch. So I'm not going to repeat the whole same story again, but I think uh, if you look at the negative review in Steam, uh, a lot of things a lot of people are talking about the frame rate issue. So I'd like to share a little bit of experience about um, how I also encountered that and what kind of like uh, setting I'm using to to get around it. So now, um, you know, this game is just released two days ago. So uh, they may patch it in the future or uh, the, the upcoming DLC Hellgate Tokyo may have addressed that. So, you know, if you are reviewing this video in the future, I'm not sure whether it will fix it for your future problem or not. But right now, um, there are uh, some frame rate issue. Now, I've, um, I, I've experienced one kind of like really terrible drop in frame, uh, one incident of the, uh, you know, the frame rate drop. Uh, I think about 90 minutes playing the game. I, I mentioned that in my video, uh, previous video. And then as I level up to eight, uh, level eight, um, and I went to some of the uh, map that has a lot more mobs, a lot more particle effects and weather effects and so on. And that become really kind of like hard to uh, continue. So um, then I went to internet, I went to Steam kind of forum to check and there was one person really, really kind enough to share the setting. So this setting is not done by me, but I apply the same setting and it works for me. Uh, graphically, I don't think it's a big deterioration. So um, so I'm going to share the setting with you. But just a little bit of background here. This game is an 11 years old game. Uh, the, the Korean company company that took over flagship has decided to downgrade the uh, DirectX version from 10 to 9, I think, uh, because of the stability issue and whatnot. So, so you know, I some some claim that the the graphic is not great. Um, I, I'm looking at it as like a 11 years old game. Like if I play Titan Quest, I don't expect it to be like uh, Diablo 3 <laughs> as of today. So uh, my expectation is kind of like, you know, low on the graphic side. I don't really see any difference by downgrading some of this like setting. So there are two ways to fix this, either through the in-game setting menu, or you can through your AMD or uh, Nvidia kind of like a setting. Now I haven't touched my AMD and I think in Steam forum, they, they do mention about the NVIDIA uh, setting that the person share. So uh, just play around with the setting a little bit, uh, but I'll start with the in-game menu first. So um, from an in-game menu wise, uh, I would recommend, I mean, I, I went for the highest you can get, which is 1920, 1080. Uh, refresh rate, I didn't touch it at all. I leave it as a V-Sync on because, um, you know, I, I, think, I think it's kind of like better that way. Um, that's fine. I mean, I, I play a lot of game with VSync anyway, because otherwise the, the frame rate go really high and sometimes it kind of like go back to low. Kind of like I want a little bit more stable kind of like uh, experience. Uh, triple buffering, I turn it on. Uh, it uh, smooth the frame rate, uh, you know, because I don't know, I just leave it on so you guys can play around with it a little bit, you know, what, what you want to do with it. Uh, you can't change the engine version. Uh, the model detail, uh, I leave it as high. Okay, the uh, model viewing distance, this is the one that you should set to low. Uh, I think the game default to high. Um, I think some people may want to put it as very high just because you think that the yeah, modern uh, graphical processing unit is able to handle a an 11 years old game. But the reality is that because they are using DirectX 9 and also I don't think they are doing multi-threading in the coding itself. So. Um, it's a lot of strain on your on your machine in some way, so I I, I wouldn't push it to too high. So I put it as low. Uh, anti aliasing, I think default it could be uh, medium. I can't remember, but I I don't think there's a lot of difference if you alia anti aliasing it. Uh, <laughs> it's an eleven years old game. Uh, the detail descript uh descri description of the effect, I think. Uh, I think it's being set as medium. If you set as very high, it does um, you know affect the particles a lot, especially the uh, weather conditions. So you know, leave it as medium is fine. Uh, texture detail, you know, you may be at 
like tempted to move it to very high. Uh, first of all, I don't think it's really a uh, different, but this one really hit the. Uh, I think the texture detail as well as the model viewing distance really hit the performance of the um, of the old code or old version of DirectX versus the the way that they code uh, on onto the machine that you have. So that's one. I leave the shadow detail to medium, uh, and then the rest of it I I leave it as uh, not checked. Um, you know, I have enhanced VEDA, but the rest of it, I don't check it. So <clears throat> this is what I have, and it works for me. Um, I, I, I used to hit a lot of problems uh, with one of the one or two of the map actually quite consistently, especially if I went into a health rift. Um, you know, I really hit a lot of problem. But having this setting kind of like solve everything. I haven't. I've been playing for hours. Um, I haven't really encountered anything right now that that is like show stopping at all. Um, so I'm very very pleased with this setting. And the, uh, so far, I played the game for seven hours. So, um, so it's a good number of hours that I'm going. I'm going. I have gone on without any uh, problem. I switch a lot of gears and different kind of like uh, effect as well. So I some claim some some would think that it could be a particular effect that is affecting you. Uh, but I so far I, I don't think that's that's really the problem. And uh, last but not the least, I'm playing a summoner. So <laughs> in those kind of free situation, uh, it, it does help a lot. Um, but yeah, I, I can I can imagine how frustrating it could be if you are not playing a summoner and when the machine freezes and your character just like you know dead or whatever. So I hope this is helpful. And the uh, and, and the next video I'm going to probably go a little bit of in game play play style like you know uh, character creation and so on and so forth a little bit of the game mechanic. Uh, but I'll leave it for another video. So I I'd like to keep this short. And uh, if if you have any um, experience to share. Do feel free to drop a comment. I don't think I can answer a lot of those video graphic kind of problem. Uh, my apologies in advance. But uh, if this in-game setting doesn't work, you can try to bring it even lower. Uh, but like I said before, this is already an old game, so I don't think you sacrifice too much on the quality of the graphics. But the most important thing is that you have a very smooth play style and you can enjoy uh, the gameplay. Uh, if that also doesn't work, then you may want to uh, go into the uh, use the uh, your your AMD or Nvidia setting to play around with the setting a little bit uh, to see what works for you. Uh, so I use the SSD as well. I moved the game file in the SSD. It didn't help at all. So I don't think it is to do with the hard disk. Uh, it is purely to do with the coding of the graphic uh, and the graphic card. Um, you know, I, I don't think it's your hardware either because <laughs> you know whatever um, machine you're having, you're already eleven years in advance. So. It's just about the coping with the game setting, old game and so on. Okay, I hope you understand. I hope this is useful useful and I'll see you next time. Goodbye.